G'day, Jackson. How's it going, mate? Yeah, good. Thank you. Yourself? Yeah, good, man. Thanks for talking to us. Uh, we were just, uh, I was just asking Corey about bubble life, so I'd like to get your your take on it as well, mate. How's it all going um, in the bubble now? Things have obviously settled down a bit in, in recent weeks, but how's, what's your personal take on on the process? Yeah, um, it's it's pretty it's pretty good. We're pretty lucky up here, being um, not in lockdown and stuff uh, like people back in Sydney. But um, yeah, it's good to be out and about and get to go to restaurants and stuff. So um, yeah, just very grateful, grateful that we can uh, go out to restaurants. Um, like my family back home, they're not allowed to do anything. So yeah, just thankful. And what about um, in the context of your year? Obviously, it's been a difficult year for the doggies. Um, has this sort of brought you guys together, or has it been? Has it made a tough year even tougher, sort of being in these conditions? How do you think it looks from that point of view? I think it, it has brought us together quite well, like being around each other every day and training and living with each other. I think it's sort of forced us to, you know, get to know each other a little bit better. And I think it has helped. Um, obviously, the results haven't gone our way. But I think um, moving into next year and the years beyond, like the, the playing group that will stay together, will have a good bond. And hopefully um, we can show that on the field. Thank you, mate. Any other questions for Jackson? Yeah, g'day, Jackson. James Phelps from the Daily Telly. How are you, buddy? Yeah, good, James. How are you? Good, mate. Don't want to put you on the spot, but there's been some reports about Luke Thompson and his tracked over the last couple of days. And I just wanted to ask you what he brings to the side and, you know, would you be hopeful of having him there playing alongside him for the, the next two years? Uh, yeah, um, I'm not too sure about the rumours. I, I, I didn't know until now, but, um, yeah, he's a massive, massive part of our team, you know. He's our big man going forward. He's he's got ball playing and he's got some good footwork and he runs hard. So, Ed, um, I I love playing with the bloke and I can't wait to play with him some more in the next over the next couple of years. Thanks, mate. That'll do me. Cheers. I'll get uh, one more for you, um, Jackson, if you don't mind. Um, obviously, you guys are going to have a very new look sort of squad next year. A lot of lot of recruits coming in. Has that been something that's been a discussion point? Like the guys that are on their way out. And that is that. How has that been as far as team harmony and that goes uh, in the in the bubble for you guys? Uh, it's, it's been spoken about a little bit, but not too much. But um, it's it's more focusing on this year and um, going out with a bang with the boys that we have and and making their time memorable here. Like uh, I think uh, a couple of the coaching staff have spoke about that uh, what we're doing up here in the Gold Coast is something that won't be done again and. And it's something that we can take the opportunity to really bond as a team and, and get to know each other, not only on a footy level, but on a personal level. So, um, yeah, just grateful that we could be able to do that. Great answer, mate. And just finally, Trent and the coaching staff, how have they managed things for you guys? Oh, uh, yeah, they've been awesome. Like, um, they've, they've been able to balance both personal life and footy life, even though we're constantly hounded by footy. Um, so, yeah, that's really awesome. They give us a lot of free time. To um, be able to take ourselves away and relax and get our mind off footy to prepare for each week. So, but yeah, the yeah, 